Let us pray. Our prayers today are largely built around some of the phrases in the Gospel reading of the Feeding of the 5,000 that we've been considering. Lord, you blessed the food, broke the food, and gave the food. Lord, we thank you for the blessings of the places that you have given us. Thank you for the wonder and beauty of nature. Thank you for friends and family who are good to us. Thank you that you provide us with food, clothes and shelter. We also thank you for our church communities, for those who feed us spiritually and guide us, for those with whom we worship online today. We receive your blessing to us with thanks. Amen. Lord, where there are areas of hardness in our lives, break us. As you broke bread on this earth, so break us until we truly learn to rely on you, to trust in you, to believe in you, the God who provides our daily bread. Lord, where there are areas of disagreement and squabbling amongst us, break us. Make us one, as you are one. Three persons, as one God. Amen. Lord, as you gave to people in need, revive our hearts to be people who overflow with generosity. May we be gen generous with our time for those who need to talk. May we be generous with our possessions, recognising that all good things come from you. As you gave bread and fish to those in need, give us the resources to pass on your goodness to those in need. And where we in the prosperous West have been the cause of the problem, the cause of global injustice, the cause of racial prejudice, the cause of exploiting the Earth's resources, forgive us and may we change. Amen. Let's pray for the sick and the bereaved and those who are in particular need at, the, at this time. And I encourage you to think of people that you're aware of and hold them up to God in your heart. Perhaps name them aloud if you're able to at this time. Loving Father, bring peace, bring healing, bring hope, bring faith, bring an ending to tears, bring sunshine in the storm. Hear the prayers of our hearts, we pray, through the death and resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. And the collect or special prayer for this eighth Sunday of Trinity. Lord God, your Son left the riches of heaven and became poor for our sake. When we prosper, save us from pride. When we are needy, save us from despair. That we may trust in you alone, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray together. 
the prayer that our Lord Jesus taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Strengthen for service, Lord, the ears that have heard your word. May they be deaf to clamour and dispute. May the tongues that have sung your praise be free from deceit. May the eyes which see around us the tokens of your love shine with the light of hope. And may the bodies that have been fed with your living word be refreshed with the fullness of your life. Glory to you be ever, and the blessing of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, be with you and those who you love this day and forevermore. Amen.